Tell me if you see any shrines as we go by. Yeah, I've been looking for them. Unfortunately, when you're this high, this, like, buildings don't render half the time. Some of them do, but yeah. Trying to, like, keep an eye out, but... I'm watching all the pl all the, the trees populate while you're going forward. Ooh. Yeah. It'll be interesting, like, 10, 20 years from now when stuff like that isn't necessary just because of, you know, how beefy rigs are going to get. Or they'll just keep needlessly making it necessary by over by over increasing the poly count of everything. You know, that is actually also a good point. Or just not bothering to optimize because stuff's so powerful. Which people do already. Yeah. So I was like, why does this game run like crap? Because we thought we'd get away with it. Hello. Oh, you, you have to look. Bastard. Wait till he lands, my baby tulip. Then rip that son of a bitch's pecker off and bring my sweet tulip home. There he is. Don't hurt my darling chopper. <laughs> I found yeah, him. I see him. But don't hurt it. Hmm. Jumping out was not my best plan. <laughs> Whoa, that thing descends way too fast. The other helicopter? I believe you've been detected. Look down there! What the? No! Are you in trubs? Kinda. Take I control killing of everybody else. chopper. Yeah. I think we have to land nearby and sneak sneak into it. Like when they're, when he's out of it, go in and sneak up and take the chopper. Or just kill the pilot. This is one guy. Yeah. Well, th no, we're, we're, we're supposed to do both. <laughs> That's just the two objectives on the screen. God hey, whoa, look, you get road rash over there. Hey, I just arrived. <laughs> Yay. I'm here just in time. Speaking of which... It's been a while since we've had Boomer, I realize. Got him. Ow! Somebody has a rocket launcher in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that's not good. Fair, fair warning. That's pretty not good. Ring. The spot are called heavy reinforcements. Oh, shit. Please don't. Oh, I hear planes. Oh, yeah, it's directly shit. behind you. Well. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> that was a spectacular crash. Here. Uh, I it guess should I respawn should, us I, with the helicopter. I guess I should call in the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of Boomer. Well, having me around should help. Okay. Uh, can Roster, I, can I lean plane out? guy. There we go. Can I, can I do anything? Nope. Huh. Honey, the minute you finish everything, bring my tulip back here. And if you see something you don't like on the ride back, feel free to fire up tulips and mounted guns. Them beauties pack more punch than a bull in heat. How do you do, Wanderbot? You seem to be have... inside of my lungs. <laughs> I have. I need a, those to uh, long. <laughs> oh my. So you know that thing, by the way, where you have like a, a gun and then you like point it into another player and it gives you like that extreme um, perspective because. Um, wow, that first little bullet took it out. <laughs> yeah. I guess uh, it, got where it gives the you that perspective. Exactly. Where you find out that your hands are tiny or your gun is minuscule. Yeah. I got a grenade launcher, and when I pointed at you, I realized, oh yeah, that's very small. Yep. 
It's like when video games don't have hitboxes that push you from away from getting close to walls, so you can get way too close to the wall and your gun shrinks to being so small you can press individual key keyboard prompts. <laughs> <laughs> yep. For me, I got that in uh, Alien uh, Colonial Marines. You can walk right into the wall textures. Just mash your camera into them. But your gun Ugh. is still there, and it changes, and it doesn't clip through anything. So it just looks tiny, and you can, like, press buttons on, a, on the wall individually, because it's so tiny. Bizarre. It's when you realize that the gun is just, like, a 2D protect, uh, projection of a 3D model on your screen, basically. Yeah, I... You're probably actually right about that. Yep. Even like for this game, it's either that or it, it's either that or it's likely it's a 3D model, but it's project it like it like projects over all the other layers like Photoshop basically. Yeah. I mean that's what they do nowadays because everything is 3D. But yeah. Oh shit! You gotta stop all the peggies. I'm so not used to ever flying in this game. <laughs> We gotta secure the marina again. <laughs> Wait, that counts as a hit and run? What, what was a hit and run? Parachuting over and killing people? I guess so. Wow. We've done it. Yeah. I... Now I must do a land. Oh, that's a grinding no noise I don't want to make. <laughs> I am good at video games. Cooper's at the gym. Holy Can't shit, you did good. You. Well, slap my tits and call me Shirley. You made it just in time for all the fun. And you brought Tulip back in one piece. Now, that's going to be a few now, more stories. I always keep my word. So, if you need Better. a pilot who can shoot the dick off a gopher from 50 feet in the air, I'm your gal. You call me anytime. Except around sunset. Xander likes to do yoga around then, and I like to watch. You ain't lived until you've seen that ass and downward facing dog. Anyways, thanks again, hon. I owe ya. Hey, hot stuff. Your name's not Shirley. Fine. What? What? <laughs> what? It's hers. Can't, you can't take her story thing. I can call her though. It, oh my god! I closed the ma I opened the menu and closed it, and that happened. You can buy and customize helicopters here. Would you like to buy and customize a helicopter? Can you customize a helicopter? Apparently. I'm more confused about how you get a Ragnar point. You get but capturing Ragnar gives you uh, resistance points. Enemies here. I, on triggers, people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can finally ride my jet ski that you teleported me out of when I bought it. What are we doing? Heading for Ragnar, Ragnar the Terrible? He apparently gives you resistance points and it's like the only quest we have. Oh, uh, we do have a uh, Stars and Stripes quest. That's a nice looking jet ski. It'd be a shame if somebody shot it. Why? <laughs> I'm just gonna swim to the bottom of the ocean and give up now. I have been on that thing Ow. for a collective 20 seconds so far. <laughs> oh, cool, and I teleported into this vehicle just in time for it to die. <laughs> Yay. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of commiseration. <laughs> Wait, so did you just fall out of my helicopter or something? No, it made me the pilot of your helicopter. What? But I'm still flying it. Well, apparently I was a what? pilot of the helicopter anyway. What the? 
Hi. Yeah. All right. That's weird. It oh, teleported it made, to me. Wait. Oh, weird. You teleported <laughs> yeah. to me? Yeah. This is you. You did this. This is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you did. I have no regrets. Did you teleport into the helicopter at the bottom of the ocean too? No. That was, that was the dupe no, spawn for you. No, I was flying away in my helicopter and then it just teleported <laughs> me to you because I guess I didn't count. <laughs> Ow! I mean, Ow. I mean, you, you did count <laughs> last time. There's you did. A bear on this tiny island. Fifty cow. Fifty Ow. cow. Oh, he's, the, he's the island bear. This is where the wild things are. Ah. Catch the albino paddlefish. Yeah, you you had just teleported me a second ago, so I think it decided that it was my turn to count. <laughs> no, I think it, it, I think it counted you as the pilot, and like since Bert you're magazine. the host, it didn't, it insisted that you were the, uh, it insisted that you were the uh, the important one and the pilot, and I was not flying a helicopter. I was just flying through the universe. <laughs> I mean, we've already seen that this game likes to disregard the existence of helicopters. There we go. Got heavy can, ammo can you get and rid of her so she's not talking to us. <laughs> well, there's a perk magazine over here. Oh, hey. Uh, coming. Where? Oh, thank you. Oh, I've got plenty. Quit it. I'm gonna get the fishing hook. He's done talking. I need your help. <laughs> no, oh God, please. Oh. Where even is the paddlefish? Yeah, now she's just whining. Well, yeah, because I knocked her out. <laughs> I'm gonna revive her because that is infuriating. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. I thought she was supposed to fly a helicopter. I yeah, I think it teleported me into her helicopter though or something. I don't know. I don't know what happened to her. Maybe it's because I blew up her helicopter. Did you blow up her helicopter? Well, that's not nice. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you really caused this on your own. Is that the albino paddlefish? You can get it. Just imagine, uh, f fishing music from Zelda or something. Apparently I'm fishing through you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at it go. That's not a bino. Or a paddlefish. No, it's just a rock bass. Sorry. Aww. Small one, too. Less than a pound. Why are we made to suffer, Wonderbot? Fishing minigame after fishing minigame. Fish. I mean, to uh, be fair, this is not the most onerous fishing game I've ever done. I think I might. I no, think I might have. It. I played near. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't think I remember the fishing from here. Oh, that was albino. Yeah. Well, you never you this... never played near. Oh, near one. Sorry, I was thinking near automata. I was no, like, near two. Fishing? You just throw your drone into the pond, and then they go boop, and you press A. In near one, fishing is required in order to beat the game. Like you literally have to fish in order to proceed. And not only do they lie to you about how to fish, they lie to you about where to fish. <laughs> So the controls they tell you for fishing make zero sense, and you have to look up online a better explanation, basically. And then while you're doing that, you'll find out that, by the way, the the uh, the, the beach you're fishing at's the wrong beach. You actually have to go to the opposite side of town from the quest and fish there. It's the only place you'll ever beat the quest. It's like, why why did they do this? Oh my god, it's a nightmare. Die. It's horrifying. Die. Yeah. Die. <laughs> I'm, kill I'm killing you to undo this. <laughs> you know what you did. Why did they give us RP? I don't know. <laughs> It was, well, only the, it was only the RP you get from one thing, too. That was a hundred pounds of paddlefish, by the way. Of course it was. Wow, Peaches was a badass, actually. Oh? You're talking about Pe people? Peaches not getting kills? 
Boomer has eight kills, and uh, Cheeseburger has nine kills. Pilot has 15 kills, and Peaches has 17 kills. Wow. I <laughs> guess Peaches is a secret badass. They were in our party right. for like two missions and already had 17 kills. That's ridiculous. More than any right. other character in the party. Well, I mean, if you want to bring Peaches back, we don't have much. That's just god damn. Oh, we don't have much Flynn. of the game left. Oh. We got a new quest person across the way. Yay. It's yeah, Xander. It as we it's Xander by. who does yoga and has a butt. According yeah. to our pilot friend. Well, we should probably inspect the said butt. And punch it. Maybe, yeah, maybe bring about <laughs> a downward facing dog. Oh yeah, he's doing he's doing the yoga. Hello, sir. Here, <laughs> we, we are here to see your downward facing dog. Ow, That's not they're not happy about facing. that. They're not happy about that. Everyone's actually attacking me now. <laughs> Boomer, get her! Oh shit! You hit Boomer, and I have to die. I just broke her neck for hitting Boomer. Wow! <laughs> that escalated like crazy. Oh my god. You are. Uh... <laughs> hey, Xander. How you doing? Can we talk, man? What the hell? Ah! Shit! Surprise dog attack. No. No, I don't want to shoot the dog. No, it's chasing me. I don't want to shoot the dog. Sounds like you're having trouble. You can't over catch there. me on this roof. <laughs> it's like Sandlot. <laughs> it's exactly like Sandlot. Are you fishing? Yeah. <laughs> I think I should, uh. Oh, no, the fish is still coming for me. You can't see shit. <laughs> I can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I can't see anything. <laughs> I used, th <laughs> I used just... three smoke bombs. <laughs> they do not last long. Wow. No. <laughs> I just want to shoot the fish out of your hand. A lot of bliss down there. Yeah, there is. Got it. Jesus. I was wondering what exploded. Well, shall oh, we? Uh... Boomer's swimming. Boomer can swim. Oh, look at him go. Oh, your best dog. Hey, buddy. Stop trying to fish Boomer. <laughs> I know he's a catch, but stop. <laughs> hey, rocket ammo. Where'd that come from? Uh, there was a rocket pickup. Oh, shit. I don't... Oh. It came back. Killed the dog. Yes, it's attacking me. <laughs> Killed a dog. Emergency. It's trying to kill me. Out. It's so mad at me. We need to bury it. How do I? Damn it! It's not Gmod. I can't pick up pieces of shrapnel to bury it. I was gonna take pieces of broken shit and like place it on top of it. He's pointing his gun at me. It's freaking me out. Uh, one of my mods is telling us there's an alien gun we should go find. There's the- it's in our- it's in the store. Oh, like a, really? It, it's like a microwave blaster looking gun. Anyway. Can you believe what they're doing? Bliss is spewing everywhere! It's toxic shit that those Eden's gay bros are shipping everywhere, man! That stuff gets in the river and it's a toxicity tonic! See those big green containers? They're full of bliss, and the Peggies are shipping them somewhere important. We need to find where and destroy them. My life coach says to break problems into bite-sized pieces. So step one, I know about a Peggy laptop that'll help us track down these containers. Once we find them, we blast them. Whoop. It's always uh, really distracting when I think a guy... this is the first game that has ever mailed a dog, uh, modeled a dog penis that I've seen. 
Ooh. I mean, that's definitely not true. That I have seen. <laughs> oh, it's floating now. I try to get him to sink. Oh, he's sinking. Yeah, I buried the dog. I guess. Viking burial. Uh, it's usually more on fire. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, did he fly out of the boober? No. <laughs> I don't know where he went at this point. <laughs> boober. <laughs> but I solved the uh, I solved the dog burial problem. Out of out of sight, out of mind, and now the guilt is gone. Type of thing. <laughs> no, you're the guilty one. You killed it. <laughs> Just, but you deleted it. <laughs> You're the dog deleter. <laughs> Where did it land? I don't know. I think it's just gone. I think you actually deleted it. Yeah, the microwave gun's just sitting in there. Things are starting to look up, thanks to you. Uh, let's see. Microwave gun, can I... No. Help Larry at Parker Laboratories in Holland Valley. Hmm. Whatever that is. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is only some some like geographic locations are um are mentioned. Yeah. Marked. Yeah, that might just be something I do solo after. And like, uh, music, because I have no idea where that is. No. I just know what region it's in, but that doesn't. I don't know what the laboratories is. So the great albino paddlefish sells for $300. Compared to a bear skin. Parker Laboratories. Larry Parker. Oh, you found it. It's here. Yep. Awesome. Well, no, it's in Hall. It's the first zone. Oh, okay. But do you want a microwave gun or not, or whatever it is? <laughs> looks like Magnum a weird pulser. It weird, looks like a weird nightmare uh, Michael Bay monstrosity. Probably a gravity gun. Hey, Larry. Oh, yeah, it's this guy. It's Mr. Aliens. Oh, this guy. We did almost finish the quest line. Give me the samples. Well done. Oh, Anne will be thrilled. S speaking of thrilled, it's done. The dynamic laser capacitor is complete. The real fun is about to begin. Uh, don't get me wrong. This has been great. I I'm just ready to move on to a new adventure. Uh, something similar, but with, with just enough novelty to justify the cost. Uh, you, you know what I mean. You get yeah, it. it's called Fire Cry 5. <laughs> Power, and I need more than the local greatest supply. And, and, and I know what you're thinking, but summoning lightning is out of the question. I'm not doing that again. And now, the transformer station to the north sh should have enough wattage. We just need to reroute all the electricity straight here. That should give me enough juice for one go. I I'll radio you with instructions. You see Boomer flyer for the guy? No. Nope. Chance at this. Oh. And saving the world from impending doom. For me, it's just pacing back and forth by the bush over there. Boomer just kind of like jumped off the guy's head. Somehow. I think it's got this- Wanna mark- Wanna mark the location? There we go. It even says the reward is the gun. Awesome. I had to find it because when I, when I held the tab to, to uh, track the quest- Wait. Holy shit, it's right here. Yeah. When I held the tab to track the quest, I'd open the map instead, and then when I came back, it was gone. I'm like, no! I wanted to mark the thing. Yeah, I don't think Boomer is even, so, even kind of synced between the two of us. I think he just freely wanders around in AI mode. Got it. Never mind. <laughs> He's not happy about the alarm. I am here too. To <laughs> Just crashing into every fence. I don't have enough power yet. He's very needy. No He's mind. very demandy, yeah. I need sufficient power or I'll be vaporized. 
<laughs> I'm inside of you. <laughs> Uncomfortable. Yeah. Uncomfortable. Oh, they died. Yep. There's more coming. Talk to Larry, they say. He's a great guy, they say. Wow, everything is burning here. <laughs> everything is fire. Remind me, at the very end of this, by the way, we need to blow up the yes sign. <laughs> or now. Um, I don't know. I think that's kind of the best send off. Failing earlier was a statistical anomaly. I almost never kill anyone with my experiments. Horribly made. My friend, this is it. That's weird. Real life Larry just cut off Radio Larry in the dialogue. Yep. Uh, are you ready? I was, until I had to repair the generators. Because of you, Ann and I are going to save the galaxy. I, I know what you're thinking. I too wish that you could come along, but it's too dangerous. And as for me, and, and me alone, and, and this mission cannot be jeopardized. Uh, don't feel left out. Uh, be proud of what you achieved. You've served your, your, your purpose. Nothing left for you to do but to bear witness to your your stellar contributions. Uh, actually, you have to click that button for me on the generator. But th that's the last thing. Let's see whether or not Wander explodes. Revive Larry. You ruined it. <laughs> You ruined it. Also, I saw Boomer doing the full body stretch thing and they nailed it. I feel like the next Far Cry should actually be Dog Cry. Dog Cry? Where any of everyone's just- it's just Isle of Dogs? Yeah, why not? Oh wait, you're gone. Huh. Wait, you're actually gone. Oh, there you are. Huh. <laughs> you back. actually disappeared when it happened. I was like, wait, yeah. did, did water just go to a plant, a different planet? That is a really cool. That is a really cool Easter egg. His boots. Take. I got his shoes as a mission item. Nice. Ah. Well, this thing has unlimited ammo. Oh shit. You want to swap it real quick so I can pick it up, in case it affects maybe unlocking it or something. Oh, shit. Boomer. <laughs> Boomer, no. <laughs> Adam, I'm, I'm good to go. Boomer. He didn't seem hurt, he just seemed thrown. <laughs> just absurd dog ragdoll. <laughs> what is that gun even? I don't know, it hasn't done anything yet. Does it even hurt people or just throw them? How close? Go right up to the car. Get right up into it. Oh, that kicks it. I don't know if it's worth it or not, but it kicks it. <laughs> oh. Well, I blew the trunk open. <laughs> that can happen. Oh, you did. Weird. Anyway. That was quick. Alright. Back to that tiny vestige of resistance to our resistance. Stop resisting our resistance. Yeah, I'm not giving- I don't want to do any more tweak quests. Um... Yeah. I don't want to do Clutch Nixon. Let's go to the top of this tower, because we haven't been there yet. Fuck it. <laughs> Maybe there'll be quests there. <laughs> there's, there's a waypoint we haven't visited yet. That's a, just a location. Works for me. Because I don't know where to find more quests, is, and we need, like, yeah, one. It is bizarre <laughs> how, like, much of a drought we've run into here. They might really want you to do drug things, and it's just such a... But he's just not that interesting. I, it can't be. How many consecutive games can required. they really milk this? Like, aren't drugs crazy in Far Cry? Because <laughs> they keep making more ga games where the, the weirdly high f emphasis on that as, like, a quest structure or a weird gimmick quest or something. Or a joke. To the point where two of the three people are Ooh, about hallucinating whoa. us. 
What have you done, Wander? Huh. This thing does horrible things to people. I found a shrine, Wander. Hey, so you did. It's very clear. It's very nearby, Wander. Oh yeah, I forgot to buy that gun. <laughs> okay. Uh, perk magazine. Oh, is there? Yep. Over here. Uh, huh. I will admit I've bought almost every perk at this point, so it's starting to lose its, uh, luster. Shush you. <laughs> Wing suiting to the thing! Since I don't see anything else in that tower besides unlocking this waypoint so we can wingsuit from it, I guess. And also the one shrine note. After that, I guess I'll just check somewhere else randomly. Yeah, I really thought there would be more. Maybe we're just not running into... Because we've been flying from location well, to location, yeah, we, well, maybe we haven't, we just... we haven't fully explored the map. Yeah. That's, that's why I went to a random one of the Google... Like, the Google uh, pins that we had that wasn't blue yet. We hadn't been to it yet, but this time I it guess was, it works. This time all I got was a perk magazine and a and a note about one shrine. Let's see if we can save the people, because saving the people gives us also some uh, resistance points instead of blowing them up. Boomer has noticed the bad de the bad guys. Ooh, the, okay. One of the people that we can save up here is a map marker person. By the way, rescued some more people. Yeah, 75 RP. Yeah, the civilians are worth almost as much as the entire... Hey, there we go. Hey, hostage friend, please get away from the death. Listen, I saw truck after truck coming out of the old Help. brewery, all loaded up with barrels full of drugs. That must be where they make it. There's a dude weeping next to a broken truck. And then he turned oh, into a outpost. That'll finish it off. Yeah, that will. On top of saving all those people, I I think we got a lot of progress. I, I think the reason why we didn't have to go anywhere near finishing the actual missions in the first zone was because we did so much random environmental crap. Yeah, we were just kind of wandering around, just being fighting dudes and stuff. We yeah, did that, we did that for so long that like we were probably way ahead. This is true. You seem to be attracting attention. Do not kill innocents of our lands. <laughs> There's a dude parked behind the van, and I was like, mm -hmm. uh, I feel bad, but I don't. <laughs> I'm, I was going to say, like, you, it's like your motto is, I feel bad, but... <laughs> Oh, that's further away than I, I thought it would be. Over. That outpost is a bit of a trek. Huh. Ooh, gunfighting is happening. I will take part in the help. I ran over a bison. It wasn't a bison because it had, like, the bliss thing. It made crunching noises. It hurt the van that I was in. But then when I got out to look, there was nothing. I'm sleeping. Boomer the badass. Messing dudes up. What? Oh, I'm. Oh, it teleported me to you with like no warning. Oh, alright. Well, that, that exploded. <laughs> yeah. But we abandoned Boomer. That guy just disappeared. That was freaky. Yeah. He was a spooky ghost. This flamethrower net man not dead yet. The important thing is that we got more experience from that. Ooh, I got a garden on the map now. Found, an found another document. Yeah. I found a map. To locations, I guess. Yeah, locations. Locations are good. 
I'm just blowing up everything I can find. I'm oh, there's some dude with a mortar. The explosions are just... Oh! What happened? You have a bad time? No. I had a good time. What the... So apparently angels can drive cars? That guy just exploded. Like, yeah, and this thing is oh, a one... bombed. Yeah. Uh, this thing mortar. is a one-hit kill to people. God damn. Did they just explode or something? From the radio waves? Like, I've microwaved you to death. <laughs> oh, that's a bomb. There's some dude with a mortar nearby. Well, I'm dead. Ugh. That's fine. I blew everything up. <laughs> I was trying to throw an explosive to stop them, but then my character started burning, so I dropped the explosive at my feet. Uh oh, another one. Whoops. Boomer, no. Oh. Boomer. Boomer okay. went boom. He didn't, -er. he didn't learn. Don't stand next to explodey people. He can't smell them. I've been tr I've been trying to trying to teach them that, that all night, but uh, I found him. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he was just standing on the roof, by the way. The mortar guy. Just having a chill time. Ow. How did you survive? Oh, he's like a VIP dude. Not for long. He was like an assassin dude. Did he did he get you with a needle? <laughs> no. There we go. Oh yeah, we sure saved that whistling beaver. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a name. Wow, it's big brown beaver. Bullshit, I blew, I blew all those up. <laughs> you can't lie to me. That just sounds like that seems bad for nature. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's see how many plants can maybe sprout out of that. We did it. Driving them out's gonna go a long way to helping us. Plus, I might be able to find a halfway decent beer around here. Uh, I need to quickly buy the new gun before she gets us. Yeah, hopefully uh, she won't nab us while we're here. Uh. What the? I have to grab it. Are you serious? So apparently, because I haven't completed the quest, uh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that uh, I I grabbed it uh, from Larry because I can't buy it because it doesn't count me as uh, having completed it. Oh, don't drop it. <laughs> that had an effect. Oh, here oh, it comes. There I got go. it just in time. What are you doing? Oh! I'm 
I'm sorry to have to do this. I'm sorry to have to do this. I wanted there to be another way. I wanted there to be another way. But you made your choice. But you made your choice. How did they do this plotline twice in the same game? Yeah, they just moved us to a different perspective. But yeah, wow. W uh, <laughs> come on. I liked yes so much more. Like, I'll show yeah, you the power. The yes, I'll show you the, the power. Yes, he says over and over again and, until finally he's like, he's just threatening you into doing it. <laughs> You are not walking. You are skating. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Alright. Who needs leg animations anyway? Like that, For me, I, I enjoyed the surprise that after all that build-up of, of like him try going to show us the power of yes or whatever, then finally it's just like he's really just threatening you, <laughs> basically. Yeah. It's like, it's like I'm gonna kill this person if you don't if you don't give in to yes. It's like it's like it shows up as being just petty and I also and really enjoyed the fact that the Black Pastor guy uh, had like a plan as part of all of it too. Like, he was the only NPC we've run into this entire game that has had a plan. Yeah. Now it's like two out of three zones. It's like, wow, the base got wiped out by one traitor that was indoctrinated by the thing that we all knew was happening. What a shock. This gun's amazing. <laughs> Fun. Unfortunately, it's range is butts. Yeah. Like, I actually really wish this game had weapon mods that like were straight up like better upgrades, and you could you could slowly improve like the range of the damage on them or something. Because I would love to just pump stupid amounts of money into the knockdown gun, uh, just wow. so it had like ridiculous when someone, range. When someone's down and you shoot them again, they just get misted. You should have listened when you had the chance. You should have done the thing, player who has no agency. Oh, I teleported. Wait, where am I? Uh, inside the prison. Oh. I was like poking around and I got teleported into the vent facing a wall. I'm like, I don't understand what's happening. Oh. Whoops. I didn't realize there were innocents nearby. Murder man. Look, my like baseline proclivity is to just talk explosives. Something happened with Virgil and the Marshal, and then everything went nuts. They got the sheriff, Rook. They got everyone. We're in trouble. We gotta move. The gate's locked. One of those fuckers out there has the key. Hurry. Wait, come back here. Yeah. We've been here before. She's not locked in anywhere. That's just the hallway to that's connected everything. Even the gates behind her is open. That's the safe room yeah. with the safe. She's, she's tied up though. Yeah, but like she's blatantly not locked into a room of any kind. Nope. Like, and she could get away. It's so weird. Find the key. Got it. All for nothing. Oh no. 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 Help me! Put pressure on it! Come on, Richard. Come on. Come on. What she does takes 
destroys. Find her. Kill her. Don't let her get away with this. Ah. Turns out you can just whammo doors open. Yep. Oh, that one's locked. It is a bit of, of a surprise when a character like that dies just because you don't expect the game to kill quest when givers. Yeah. I applaud them for doing so, I guess. I was gonna say, I wonder if his quests just go away, but at that point, like, those quests were for liberating the zone and you've beaten it at Wait. that point. 